Well, hello all. Okay, we've had the puppy or puppies. Uh, uh, yeah, things changed a bit. Um, last Wednesday we went to uh, pick up Reggie um, and uh, there was one of the other dogs left that uh, some people had uh, um, sort of let um, the breeder down and uh, uh, we used to go around nearly every day and see them and my daughter sort of fell in love with him a bit so um, they've uh, I mean they're both working girls so um, they they bought him and uh, so we've got two I know it's uh, usually a big no-no but uh, there we go we'll see how we get on um, and it's going to be up, left up to me to uh, train them and look after them but um, when the girls are off they can take their their pup and do whatever so um, um, we haven't really taken them out and about they're due for their second jab on Thursday it's Tuesday today um, so uh, on Thursday they have their second jab so then they can really go out and about I know it, you can probably do it anyway but there you go okay I hope you just enjoy this short video it uh, just uh, shows the um, run that I made for them and uh, and the pigsty I've con converted from as a kennel so uh, there you go okay folks I hope you enjoyed the video well look what we've got here yes there's not one, but there's two. Two little monsters. Hello, boys. Hello, boys. How you doing? This is Reggie, and that's Trigger. Hello, Trig. How's it going, mate? Oh, good boy. A good boy. And Trigger, you're a good little boy, aren't you, eh? You good boys. So this is Trigger and Reggie, good boys, good boys, there's Reggie, he's a cute little fella, Trigger. So as you can see I've made this run for them in this bit of the garden all fenced off and I've converted one of the old pigsties uh, we live in an old firm farmhouse and this is an old pigsty all made out of granite now and if you can see in there they got their bed in there but I'm gonna make them a proper bed and then we're gonna convert this other one which is alongside here um, so each pup will have its own uh, its own pen but so uh, they got a nice run out here so well, there's Trig going to go and see my wife, and then Reggie as well. Get down, get down. The reason we ended up with two, well, I was going to have Reggie, and then um, this little fella. Um, the breeders got messed about by a couple of people, and in the time that he was left, my daughters fell in love with him. So my daughters have um, bought him, which I know you shouldn't have two pups from the same litter let alone two dogs from the same litter but um, there we are we are where we are and um, hopefully we'll be uh, we'll be okay um, we're just letting them live as pups for the moment as you can see look at that dearie me um, letting them live as pups at the moment they play and they got their toys and I come out here and I throw the tennis ball for them and they're starting to retrieve um, they're sitting for their food and whatever so um, so things so good we'll keep it like that for another month and then we'll start some light training but uh, at this moment it's just for them to live their lives as puppies um, they are they sl sleep at night in separate cages separate from each other and um, to try and sort of encourage a bit of a break up but as you see they've got each other so um, hopefully over the coming weeks you'll see how I get on with these two little auras. Um, different characters already, very big different characters. Trigger there is, um, you're a fine fella eh? Yeah, a um, lot more stockier, a lot more uh, butch type face, manly face. And, and he's got an itch. What's up Trig? Good boy. And then this one here. <laughs> This is Reggie, 
and as you see he's got a lot more cuter um, finer face um, but he's already getting his nose down and when we go for a walk in the evenings he's the one who's um, sort of getting his head near the hedge and going in sort of a bit but we're not we're not encouraging that I know I know what it's like mate but um, at the moment um, in the afternoon the Sun comes out and it's quite warm so they're pretty crashed but they're here all day and then we take them for a walk around um, they're already pretty good on the lead I mean they were only 10 weeks old on Sunday and it's Tuesday today so um, they're already on the lead um, not really doing any heel work but uh, we'll, we'll start that later on but it's just good that they're comfortable with the lead um, Reggie wasn't too sure at first um, he was fighting it but uh, with that we were just on a big lawn at the back of the house and I just let the lead go so as he um, he could feel still, still feel it around his neck but there was no pressure and um, that seemed to crack him out of it and he's uh, slowly got better as it goes on but there you go folks that's the latest latest update um, so it'll be interesting to see how we go. Um, they are, well, well they're puppies so they're cute and my wife has a soft spot for uh, Trigger there because he likes his tummy rubbed and all that sort of stuff. But uh, let them be puppies for the next month, six weeks and then we'll start uh, light training and I'll bring that all to you. So okay folks, um, just a short one this time just to let you know what was going on. I know a lot of you are going to say, oh my god, he's got two pups from the same litter. Well, there we go. Uh, I know it's going to be a lot more work for me, but uh, we'll see how we get on. Okay, folks. Thanks a lot.